All right, y'all, welcome to Christmas Garage. Today, we're gonna learn on y'all a little short video on mounting some pure stock V8 dirt track tires. Yellow dot, said yellow dot, always goes to the wall. Always faces the hospital side of the race car. I don't know if the viewers at home would be able to see that. Tile City Retread. Have you licked it yet? That's awesome, that tastes like victory. Anyway, let's get ready and get one of them mounted. Y'all see what it's all about and cut. I always put my knee up here, just in case I miss, I just hit my knee, you know. I'm, get up. I'm finna get up out of the way. First things first, you always want to hit it in that area. And the first side's on. All right, next. That next was you, almost like you knew what you were doing. You, tire, you put your knee down here like this, so your bead's down here. Mm-hmm. Well, you get your nice, lovely tire iron. Adjustment this, tool. Been through the mill you know, a time or two. And I always put my little spoon edge to the bottom so the tire kind of rolls off of kind of early, you know what I mean? Yeah. Your first bite's always got to be a real big one to get her seated up there real nice. Yep. And then you go, you go little bites. Mm, try not to hit you. Oh. Uh, Lovely apprentice over Yeah, try not, to, yeah, try not to hit nobody in the face with you, with your irons. And then you just you just kind of get your little persuasion. Like get your probably, hand out of here. Probably not. You get your little persuasion. Get your hand out of here. You get your little persuasion, and you just kind of <laughs> like that. That scared me. And then she's mounted. All right, that was the left side we just did. Now we're gonna do a right side bead lock. Uh, we don't ever use these three holes here because these are for mud covers, and as much beating and banging as we do, you mud covers wouldn't last very long. So there's no point in even putting them on there. We're gonna go ahead and these these bolts is these they're really nice. They're actually powder coated to the bead lock ring itself, so you kind of have to put some extra ugga duggers on them to break them loose, so you can put your tire on here. Well, let's talk about wheel. Uh, pattern for just a second. This is a five lug wheel and two of your common five lug patterns are five lugs on four and three quarter bolt circle or five lugs on five inch bolt circle. Now a lot of people say oh I'm gonna measure center to center. Well you see if we measure center to center what are we looking at? We're looking at about four and a half center to center which is wrong. If you ordered this wheel five on four and a half which is actually a trailer lug pattern or a Ford Ranger lug pattern you're gonna get the wrong wheel. I've made this mistake. When you measure a, and I know this doesn't really make any sense, but I'm gonna explain it to you in just a second. If you measure from outside to center, outside to center is right at four and three quarter, if you notice. See, if I measure outside to center, see five's way over here on the other side. The reason you have to measure that is because we're talking about bolt circle mm -hmm. center. So if we actually measure from center of this circle, to center this circle, mm -hmm. see we're four and three quarter. Yep. If you draw it out on a piece of paper, it makes more sense. But that's why you have to measure outside to center when you're checking, and you need to do it on the stud itself. If you did it on the stud, it would come up exactly four and three quarter. This wheel, depending on the size of your hole, makes a difference. Yeah, and racing wheels have larger um, wheel stud holes than highway cars do too because we run the 5 8 wheel studs. So that's right. It, it can be a little misconceiving sometimes when you're looking at one of them. That's right. You don't know what you're doing. If, if you're racing a four-cylinder and you got four lugs, you measure center to center across because the center of those is the bolt circle. But on a five lug, the center of the hole is not the bolt circle. That's why if you measure your stud from center to center and you say, oh, I got a five on five and you order a five on five wheel, it's probably not gonna fit. You got to measure outside to center of your stud 
and if you measure outside the center of your stud it'll be really 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 close that's just kind of a rule of thumb but you read a feedway magazine and they'll tell you the same thing all right y'all so the next thing we're going to talk about is uh how to check your back spacing on your on your rims for your race car uh first thing you're going to want to get your hands on is one of these custom chrisman garage wheel tools see there wheel tool it is uh uh, precision machined for uh, 15 inch racing wheels uh, you can uh, we'll, we'll leave a link in the description you can order one of these and uh, we'll custom make it. it has these two holes in here where you can hang it up on the wall or do other different stuff with it um, really handy to have you can hit people with it uh, awesome product this is one of our uh, this is the newest product on our Christmas garage product line flagship flagship yeah this is a flagship design here this is the it's a one of a kind it's the very first one so they're going to be going into production here soon all right so enough about that so we're going to show you how to, how to how to check on this backspace so what you want to do is you measure from this surface to this surface and where people mess up the bigger the number is the tighter it tucks the tire to the car the smaller the number, the further it pushes the tire away from the car, and that's very important when you're tuning your car. Uh, we're not going to go into what changing that does because that's highly top secret. So, we're going to get this right here. We're going to put this, the wheel tool, right here on this surface, kind of in the center. And then we're going to take a, a tape measure. And this is how you check it. You see, this one's checking 37 inches. Um, and some of them will check 77 inches, but this one, this one's a 37. That's how you check it. The first thing you want to do when you get ready to put your valve stem in is you're going to spit on it. Camera guy stinks. Lubrication is key. And we're going to screw our little tool on here to help us pop this thing in. Her. All right. Uh, flip her over and lubricate her. And you want to make sure you get plenty of lubrication inside the tire because that gives you traction because it creates a heavy spot. Quit spraying that stuff on me. All right, yellow dot always. Always to the hospital side. Uh, you shouldn't have to. It should pop on there. Oh. Oh. Yup, did you, did you get that on camera? Yeah. Okay. Next thing's next, you come over here, you get your lovely nuts and bolts. And your ring. No, you just want your nuts and bolts next. Yeah. Now you're going to get your little bolt holder. Yeah. Put that right there. Now you just throw it up there. It doesn't matter where it goes. Oh my. We just lost some of those. Mm -hmm. You always want to make sure that this thing looks like it's centered up pretty good. It's pretty close. I always take precision in this and just kind of throw it up there at whatever angle it comes out at. Like right there, it looks mighty, mighty fine right there. You sound like Bob Ross. We're going to be painting little trees in a minute. Happy, li happy little racing tires. I always go across because the racing tire likes it when you go across. From one way to another. Yeah, you got to make sure you keep your racing tires happy. Because that racing tires are your friend. What's up, Doc? That's the man right there. The mullet, the myth, the legend. This man's always got perfect hair. Every day. Uh, you don't need but like... <laughs> Shannon's going to be mad when she comes home from work and all these are in the living room. <laughs> Alright, y'all. We're going to pause for a commercial break because we lost the beadlock bolt and Doc's going to kill us because we're going to end up one in it that hey, don't match. One. I've never done this before, but I've always heard that you, you tighten them down until they just strip right out. So that's what we're gonna do. Make sure it's pulled up tight all the way around. All right, y'all. We got a left side mounted, right side mounted. 
I'm not going to waste a bunch of time show you how to mount two more because pretty much the same what we've already seen. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, give us a like, comment, and uh, hit the bell icon so you don't miss a video. Thank you. Mm -hmm.